celebrating after a game like this and a week like this when you get home? Uh, I mean, it's great that it's a two o'clock game, right? So it's not, you know, finish it super, super late. I mean, like I just said, I'm see if I can get around with my family, you know, enjoy that ride home. Uh, yeah, probably, I mean, I'm old enough to drink, right? You are. I have a few brewskis with my family, my dad, my mom and dad. They have some friends here. It's, uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, just hang out. And I'll get to see, well, I get to see them every you know, weekend now. It's game week, but uh, just enjoy, enjoy time with them. It's all it is. I really enjoy the time with my family when I get a chance to. Nothing crazy. There's nothing crazy happening in my life. So. Let's do 24 hours. Huh? Let's do 24 hours. <laughs> I walk all the way up in here just for this. Uh, that's not too <laughs> what is it like to see the offensive line just take control of the line of scrimmage the way they did? The way they did. The, yeah, the it was, was a twenty-one nothing lead. It was awesome. I mean, we established a twenty-one nothing lead very fast, and uh, um, it just felt good. When you, like, you know, we talk about being able to move people, right? When you move people that easily, it's just it just it was a, a good feeling, especially at the quarterback. From like my perspective, um, we got them quick. We got them really fast. Hopefully, we finish a little better uh, down the stretch and uh, you know really step on their throats when we're up that up in a, up in a game like that. But um, I thought we started fast and hopefully we continue to do run the ball like that. How bold have you been in the past few weeks about the support you received from your team? Yeah, it's been great. I would just you know I kind of just said that to them and just thank them. How you know I, I felt that I felt that support um, through sitting and then you know coming back and I felt that support a lot and I felt it here tonight. Um, it felt really good, I'll tell you that. Um, so, yeah, I just think that, I mean, that when you have that support from your teammates, that goes a lot, a long way, you know, in your head, in your mind. Um, I think for the team, too, like, it, it goes a long way when you have that support. You know, the first play, I think, except you know, ran about a mile, like 60 <laughs> some yards. Did that kind of loosen things up? And you I think so. I mean, I thought he was going to take it to the house. Um, I just kind of preached just one play at a time, and I think we were doing that early on, just one play at a time. We were, you know, like I said, moving the guys up front. Like we were moving the line of scrimmage and getting big chunk plays on the ground. Um, but yeah, it kind of loosened it up, I think. I think guys like, all right, we're here. And uh, you know, we went down and, and you know, did what we needed to do. After the, the passing line, how would you describe your, your feelings when you hit that first touchdown on you know, three plays into the game? Yeah, it felt good. I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I've done it a, a decent amount, but this one felt different um, just because you know, I feel like I've grown. Um, even though being a sixth year in college, I feel like I've grown through this time that I was sitting, uh, sitting, um, and yeah, it just felt good again. It felt like myself. Um, yeah, I really don't have words for it. It just felt different than the other ones. You know, just that comeback thing. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. What, is there something to be said that you get to write your own ending now? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, you always get to write, you know, your story, right? No matter what's happened, whether. You're, Things are going as planned. Things are not going as planned. You always get to write your story. I think Coach D hit on that. We're always writing our own story. And we, you know, we react and we do things to put ourselves in different positions. So um, we're here and we're still writing. So we got a dub here, and then guess what? We get to celebrate this one and move on. And uh, we have two more games left, right? I think so. Two more. And uh, we're trying to win both of those. We're trying to finish the season strong. So it's just kind of next next game mentality. This is a place in the state. I'm mean, sure first year, obviously, but this is a place they've, they've had issues in the past. To lead them to a big win over a rival like this on the road, just, how does that feel to you? Yeah, it feels great. I know we talked about, we hit on, you know, the winning team is normally the home team in this rivalry. And uh, you know, we got the job done. That's all you can ask for. Road, winning on the road and the ACC is a hard thing. I've kind of experienced it quite a bit. And uh, I think we came in here and took care of business. and. Uh, Play good football. Like I said, I think as an offense, we can finish stronger, but overall, we came in and took care of business. The, the conceptual reference, but you, know, you didn't get Kevin in the backfield during the first version of your starting starting uh, first five games. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what is it like to have a new toy and, and yeah, see yeah. some of the changes in the offense? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, he's very talented. We try to get him the ball any way we possibly can, right? And uh, we've started to, been doing that these past couple, three, four games, and it's been really good for us. So. You know, we're probably going to continue to do that. Yeah. Coach Roy mentioned uh, this week that he felt like you had a new perspective mm -hmm. just about the game, about football. What's your perspective now um, with two games left uh, this regular season? At least? I just lived and died by this sport. Um, and then I got to a rut playing right last year and the start of this year. I got to a rut and I was living and dying by this sport. It was my identity. Um, it's all I ever knew. It's all I ever did. So. 
Um, just being able to take a step back and just kind of refresh and reframe it. Um, I wouldn't have taken myself out of the fire. I've stayed in it if it wasn't for him giving me, you know, so making that switch. I think it's for the better. Um, mentally, just really, you know, just being better mentally. Uh, I think the first thing to go as a quarterback is your mental. I think you're always physically going to be able to do it. It's just me your mental. So uh, it's just been good. I just took the time to reset and just give myself grace. Don't be so hard on myself and just go play and have fun. You know, I got two of these left or in my career, three of these left. So um, just enjoy them. Did it feel different coming into today's game rather than the last time you went out there to start? I don't really remember the last time. To be honest with you, I don't remember the feeling. Um, but yeah, I just felt I just felt loose. I was like, you know, surrender the outcome. Just go out there and play. The ups and downs and the flows of the game, like just play. Just keep on playing. Keep reminding the guys to keep on playing. Um, it's a four quarter game. And uh, so that's just kind of my mindset and that's just kinda of how I'm trying to approach it. The way you talk about the emotions of the game, would you like to get into coaching one day? <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I don't know if I like the scheduling you of office. coaches. Because last year seems to have helped you probably in terms of being a great coach one day. Yeah. Uh, Going through everything you've gone through. We'll see. It wasn't like my top thing. Um, but maybe, maybe. We'll see. You never know where it's going to take you. So, yeah. Well, what does it mean to get this win here, especially considering coming in, the program had only won twice in the millennium? I mean, it's huge, right? I mean, I just hit it on it before. I was like, most of the time, the winning team in this rivalry is the home team. And like I said, it's still hard. It's just, it's all the factors. You know, you go on the road, then you're going on the road against Wade, you know, the rivalry, all that. When you win here, you get on the road against this team, it's a huge deal. Uh, there's not, not too many people that have done it. So I think as a team, we should feel really good about that. It's tough to do that. And uh, we did it. Seems like, you know, from everyone we talked to, the team is really rallying around you since you're taking back to the So What does that mean to you just to have the yeah, It means everything. I mean, uh, it feels really good. And, you know, like I said, I just try to win it when you get into this role and then you, you sit and then you get back into it. Like, you just try to be a good teammate. I try to have consistency, the same person showing up. Obviously, I'm trying to switch my mentality, you know, how I'm approaching the game and perspective of the game along those along that time. But overall, I just try to be consistent, try to enjoy it, and I just try to put positive energy into the team and say, you know, really put negative in a sense of, you know, my mental and all that stuff going into it. So, like I said, just feeling the, feeling the support from the guys, it's really the best feeling in the world, literally the best feeling in the world. It's all you can ask. You get respect from your teammates, the best feeling in the world. I think a lot of guys just want respect. And, I felt that, that was awesome.